Wrestling fans, welcome back to the channel. Today's topic, internal opinion of WWE releasing the Authors of Pain. Vince McMahon released Aikam and Razor from their contracts. That news might have been overshadowed by the company banning all superstars from third parties, but it was also a very, very busy day for everyone to get involved. The social media ban is causing everyone to speak out. Kevin Owens spoke out after Authors of Pain was axed from WWE. And he had nice things to say. The former NXT Tag Team Champions were liked backstage and regarded for their skills and potential. They also carried the Raw Tag Team titles. They carried it for 35 days in 2018. Ringside News has asked around AOP's release from the company. One response sums it up very well. Don't know what to say about the AOP release. WWE was considering bringing Paul Everick back on AOP's managing role, those plans were axed, then COVID-19 swept in and plans were nixed. The idea to bring back this dude and put him back as the manager was, was clearly the right idea. The fact that they've waited for COVID-19 to end and then basically fire them, it's bullshit people. It's unclear why WWE released AOP but they had a lot of potential as a team or as a single star. The feeling is that it's one of those releases, but you can never count out that they won't bring them back. That's from Ringside News, people. So WWE teased having a manager, bringing back Paul Everick, having him as a manager, and then just firing him. It, it, like it, It's garbage, people. That's what it is. It's garbage. These two can wrestle. They're very good wrestlers. You could have put them back down in NXT, but you chose not to. That's the initial feeling backstage.